This tutorial will show you how to take some layers of animation and put them over a panning background. I am going to be using Adobe Premiere. And so here we are in Premiere and the first thing that we need to do is import our footage. So I'm going to File, Import. And I have here a sequence of animation that I made. It's a walk cycle. Um, it's animated on paper. There are 16 frames. So I'm going to import that as an image sequence. So if you notice, the frame rate is 24 frames per second. That's the default that I have set. Um, but I actually animated this on twos. And so the frame rate needs to be 12 frames per second. So I'm going to change that. here. And if you take a look at this sequence, you can see this is what it is, just a walk cycle done in pencil. And um, I also have a color layer that I did in Photoshop. So I'm going to import that as well. The shortcut for importing is Command I. And so that is this sequence right here. Again, Again, just double check that you have image sequence checked, import that, and we also have this same problem where we need to change the frame rate. So I'll do that real quick. And then I need to import my background. So if you notice, the background is quite long, and that's because we're going to be starting over here, and this our frame is going to be 1920 by 1080, and we're just going to be panning along. So this is about 5,400 pixels wide. It's about three times the length, so we can have kind of a nice slow pan going by this background. So I need to start a sequence. So I'm going to choose a new sequence, and um, I just like to use the DSLR default. 1080p, 24 frames per second. Here we are, and um, I'm gonna bring in my assets here. So first, I'm gonna start with the background, drag that out a bit, and then I'm gonna bring in the animation layers. This is my outline, so it's gonna go on the very top. And I'm gonna duplicate that a bunch. And then I'm going to bring in the color, which should line up perfectly. And I'm going to duplicate that a bunch. And if you notice my um, my raw footage, because I shot this with a DSLR, it's much bigger than my 1920 by 1080. So I need to scale that down. And I can do that in the effects control here. I'll just scale that down to about the right size. Let's make that about there. So that's 65, so I also need to match that here. I can select that, copy it, and then paste it. And then actually I can do that to all of these. So I need to get the white to be transparent, and I can do that by setting the blending mode on this top layer to multiply. So if I select that and I'm here in effects control, then I can go down to multiply, right? And then we can see that. Um, and we also need to do that for all of these. And so if I just copy this feature here, command C, and then paste it onto here, and play it through, we should see that the whole sequence here now is um, composited. But the background is not moving, so we need to address that next. All right, selecting our background layer down here. Uh, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the position keyframe here. Uh, and so if you are in your effects controls, if you start sliding this, you can see that it is adjusting just the x-axis position. So we're going to start all the way over on the left side here. And then if you click this little stopwatch, that sets a keyframe. You can see that keyframe. It's right there. It's a diamond shape. We only see half of that. 
So now if I go out to the end here, so I can find the edge here, and I can move these keyboard variables around a little bit if I need to. Uh, let's see what that looks like. So if I go back to the beginning, all right, the background is panning and the character is walking. But if you notice, the feet here are sliding a little bit. They look like they're sort of like slipping along as the background's moving. And that comes from the fact that the background is moving too slowly for the pace of the character. So what we need to do is we need to uh, actually speed up this background quite a bit. I can play around with this a bit. I happen to know that this should be about five seconds. Actually probably do it right here at the end of this. And I can put this keyframe back here. And now you can see that the slide of the feet are matching up. Now, of course, we have all this extra stuff. We don't need that. I can get rid of it. I can put this back here. So we have about five seconds of animation. If I needed it to be longer, then I would have to make a longer background, right? But this is fine for my shot. I can just cut to the next shot and we're good to go.